The next cut we are going to defend is the one that comes right off of that, and that is the back cut. In this particular one, if you are, this is another reason to not be chest to chest with your, with your person you're trying to check because it's so much easier for them if you're, if you're coming out here and John is really close to him for this person to leave and change direction faster or to even hook you with his arm and, and hold you off while he makes a cut. So in this particular case, it becomes even more critical that you've got that space there so that the person can't back cut you so easily. When you are teaching a back cut, I would suggest that you find out how, if you're coaching a youth team, I would find out, I would suggest that you find out how your high school coach defends this. And I would probably suggest that with most of these things. There, there are ways that, that your high school coach usually has a, has a way to defend these things, and whatever way they defend it, I would choose that as mine, and I would sell it like it was mine. Here's usually the choices that you'd have on a back cut. As the player goes out, slow motion, if John can stay in this position, as a guy back cuts him, that's great. That means it's probably not a very good back cut. Okay? Here's what we're trying to defend. The person goes out like that, and then this person goes behind him, and he gets this pass. Okay, that's what we're trying to be able to defend. So if John can defend him by staying in the same relative position with his hands and feet, that'd be great. If he can't, and he's got to make a commitment one way or the other, there are two trains of thought. One is that you commit to the person that you're checking by, if he leaves you, by simply swiveling your head and putting the other hand out as a stop sign. Okay, so let's just do that one. Okay, go, we're just going to go out hard and back cut him. Go all the way past the three-point line and back cut hard. And swivel right there. Okay, and that would be one method of doing it. The other method that, that coaches will use is to open up and, and to commit more to the ball than they are to the person they're checking. And that means taking his top foot and opening all the way back up. So slow motion, come on out, Justin. And as the ball gets here, if he really back cuts him hard and John loses him, he can open up this way and open up and see both, and he gets back into that position right there. For younger kids, it's awful easy for them to swivel their head and simply turn and look the other way and to catch the defender. And opening up is, is, a, is, a, is a great technique as far as team defense is concerned, but it's going to require more teaching time, and you, your footwork has to be more exact. So when you make a decision on how you're going to teach this, that would be another consideration that you may want to have. All right, let's, um, let's have you the first time through just swivel, okay? And the second time, open, okay? So now we're gonna do two, we're gonna do two check breaks. You're gonna go out, back cut hard, and then you're gonna go out and back cut hard. The first one, you're gonna swivel your head. Second one, you're gonna, you're gonna open up. Ready? And go, and swivel, okay? And hard, all the way out, and back cut hard. And open up, good, right through, okay, good job. All right, here we go, ready? Next guys, be ready to jump out. Ready, and go. And swivel your head. Good. Cut harder. Offense, cut harder. Cut, plan, go. There you go. Open. Good. If you can, you know, what you're trying to do is develop confidence in your kids that they can defend anything. And so maybe for one particular player, opening up is easier than swiveling. So, again, you need to look at your, your talent and the players that you've got. And what you're saying is, I want to give you enough weapons to win this battle. And, and if there's one way that is preferable to you or, or easier for you to teach, easier for you to understand, or one way that's easier for them to do, then do it that way. Do it the way that's going to provide them success. Okay, here we go. Curtis has got him. And hard, Addy. Go out hard. And boom, swivel your head. Good. And coming back out. And this time he's going to open. Good job. 